Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography. I'm Mark Wallace and in this episode, I'm going to explain sync speed. Sync speed is how your camera's shutter syncs up with an external flash. It could be a studio flash, it could be a speed light, an off-camera flash, it doesn't matter. But there's a mechanism where when a flash fires, it has to make sure it fires at the appropriate time and that all has to do with our camera shutter and how it works. So let's take a closer look at all of this. It's important to understand how your camera's shutter works. Your camera's shutter has two curtains and these curtains have names, the first curtain and the second curtain. They open and close to reveal light to the sensor, much like a curtain opens and closes in a theater to reveal what's happening on the stage. Let's take a closer look. When you press the shutter release with your finger, it tells the camera to open the shutter. The first curtain opens to reveal the light to the camera's sensor. Then the second curtain follows behind to hide the light. Then the curtains reset and wait for you to press the shutter release again. Let's watch that again. Notice in this animation that the first curtain opens completely before the second curtain begins to follow. This only happens at slower shutter speeds, usually speeds under 200th of a second. Now watch what happens when we speed things up. When the shutter speed is faster, the second curtain can't wait for the first curtain to open all the way. If it does, it won't make it across in time. Notice in this animation that the shutter is never fully open. It just reveals a slit of light as it travels across the sensor, and the slit becomes smaller as the shutter speed increases. Sync speed is the shutter speed on your camera that allows the first curtain to fully open before the second curtain begins to follow. In other words, it's the fastest shutter speed you can use with a flash. Let's take another look at your camera's shutter this time with a flash in the mix. When your camera's shutter speed is set to sync speed or slower, a few things happen. When you push the shutter release button, the first curtain opens, and as soon as the first curtain is fully open, the flash fires. Then the second curtain closes. Normally, if we have our shutter speed set too high, we'd have problems. Let's take a look. When you press the shutter release, the first curtain will begin to open, but before it's fully open, the second curtain begins to close. When the first curtain is fully open, the flash fires just like it did before. But this time, part of the sensor is covered by the second curtain. This will cause our photo to have a black area. And the faster your shutter speed, the more black you'll have in your photo. Sync speed is a barrier to how fast our shutter can move. About 200th of a second is a normal sync speed. Now I know what you're asking. You're saying, well, what about shooting outside at very high shutter speeds to overpower the ambient light? Is that possible? Absolutely it is. We can use something called high speed sync. All speed lights have high speed sync and a lot of studio strobes have high speed sync. So let's take a look at how that works. When your shutter is moving faster than your camera's sync speed, it never fully opens. To compensate for this, the flash doesn't just fire once, it fires hundreds of small, evenly timed bursts. When the first curtain opens, the flash begins to fire, and as the curtains move over the sensor, the flash continues to fire bursts of light. To the sensor, these multiple flashes appear as one long burst of light, and we get a perfect exposure. Well, there you have it, sync speed and high speed sync. You know now how the shutter and the flash all sync up to work correctly, either in the studio or on location. Hey, if you have questions about photography or studio lighting or any of those kinds of things, make sure you leave me a comment below, subscribe, give me a like, all those kinds of things. And thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode.